creativity can come from anywhere. Uh, the beauty of Periscope Agency is that we are a fully integrated agency, and so we work in tandem with the strategic team, the strategy team, project managers, uh, the account management, creatives, and overall the media team uh, that I oversee. And what's awesome when we are collaborating and brainstorming, any idea can come from anywhere. What's been phenomenal over the past couple of months, our chief creative officer, Peter Nicholson, has implemented a uh, ask for the entire agency, so five people a week, could work together or not, submit what inspires you creatively. So for instance, the other day I submitted that Crayola Crayons inspires me. It could be a basic aha, but anytime I see color or the absence of color, I get inspired creatively. So others have submitted and it's interesting to see where uh, their inspirations come from. Somebody is cooking, somebody is movies. You can see uh, when the creatives submit their creative ideas, it's definitely different than others. But uh, just the other day somebody submitted that ice cream uh, inspires their creativity. So that's what's fun is to be inspired by other people too. One of uh, our, my co-workers, uh, part of the consumer experience team, has really started to push for this experience lab and that's where we can test out new technology. It could be client agnostic because one client may not have the funds to invest in technology but could see a benefit two years from now so they'll start to allocate funding for uh, those enhancements. But that's where we're playing with the gadgets and seeing if it's something that we as consumers can understand and appreciate and how can it affect our overall clients and their business. What Nick has mentioned at the conference the um, past couple of days is not fearing failure. So we talk about Google Glasses and I remember that was the hot topic at one of our conferences a couple of years ago and everybody had to have it but now it did not scale as it should have and but that's okay. We, we tested, we tried it, but we failed, but it got us to that next stage. And Snap Glasses, Snapchat Glasses did not scale, but again, that started to promote the um, VR and AR, and that's where brands have embraced it in different avenues, not just from the, the tactical applications of it, too. So fearing um, failure doesn't get us, doesn't propel us forward. Uh, embracing failure does, definitely propels us forward. So in terms of new technology, I think it's wonderful, but just so interesting that now you can speak to your cars instead of paying attention to what's happening in the world. And while it's great from advancements and being more efficient, uh, we lose the, the human connection too. What's interesting is that people definitely get freaked out about Big Brother and thinking, oh, everybody's following me everywhere. Well, yes, that's been happening for eons. It even happened with direct marketing back in the day and direct mail. However, now if we are able as marketers to help enhance the customer experience, even if somebody is in store after they've seen a video ad on their mobile or even on a social media platform, to then be exposed to an offer, remarketed with an offer, to then buy a shelf, everybody wins. The brand wins because they have better attribution. The consumer wins because they have an offer and are feeling appreciated from the brand. So it's in the right way and in the right uh, mediums and manners that really help brands elevate in terms of measurement, attribution, and then also customer loyalty. We have been proactive with our clients to communicate the implications of GDPR. There are positive and negative. The negative is uh, not being educated about the implications of it. The positive is getting out in front of it. There are many brands that are concerned about it because they don't fully understand it and so they're creating a, a, a lot of chaos and swirl around it. But if we can be as marketers and brands be proactive about what information we are collecting and be upfront with customers about uh, how we're going to leverage their information, then we can be at the forefront of not being scared by GDPR.